Low Country, and welcome to another episode of Palmetto Life. I'm your host, Emily Zuhowski. If you've been lucky enough to score a table at Elliott Borough Hotspot Chubby Fish, you are about to love our next segment. Following the news of Chef James London's latest honor, a spot on the semifinalist list for a prestigious James Beard Award, we're heading to the Fresh Seafood Spot to see what people are lining up every single night for. It's Reagan Ranzer, the reporter for Palmetto Life. We're here at a special location right here in downtown Charleston, Chubby Fish. I'm here with the owner and the chef, James London. Thank you so much for having us Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. Uh, we are so excited to kind of get into everything that you all have going on back there. Every time I pass your restaurant, always a line out the door, people waiting to come in. So that's when you know it's really good. And I do want to talk about that. So talk to me about how Chubby Fish got started. I was working in San Francisco, I was working in New York City. I came from Charleston originally and I knew how good the seafood was in Charleston and I knew I wanted to really highlight that and specialize in that. So that's where Chubby Fish came about um, and it's built upon relationships with our fishermen, with our farmers and we just have really amazing seafood here and this is where you come to experience everything that's coming out of the water that day that day and that's what I was going to ask you about is that your partnership with local fishermen and farmers is so important to y'all here um, so can you kind of go more into that we use as small uh, uh, fishing boats as possible by doing that we kind of cut out all the middlemen and we get fish that was swimming that day or the day before and so we're able to really utilize the best fish in the area Getting the freshest food in the area, like you said. Um, so how did Chubby Fish, what, how did the name come about? Well, I had to present at the bank <laughs> the next day. And so I had a business plan all dialed up and I didn't have a name for it yet. I couldn't finalize it. And my wife was telling me, what about Chubby Fish? It's cute. And I thought about it over and over again. And I was like, no. And then it just kept sticking in the back of my head and I couldn't get rid of it. And so. Lo and behold, we wrote Chubby Fish on the front of the business plan. <laughs> so now it's official, Chubby Fish. Yes, it's I here. I love it. Um, okay, so let's talk about your menu. You have a bunch of options people can choose from. Um, so what are those? So the menu changes daily behind us, if you can see that. This is all magnetic strips. So every day the servers come in, they pull the magnets down, they erase them, they write it up with the menu for the day, and it gets back up on the board. Every day it's daily changing and every day it's really what's fresh. Mm -hmm. And so also talking about that as well, um, how are people to keep up with the menu changes? Social media, right? We, we do some posts on social media. We have sample menus online on our website at chubbyfishcharleston.com. It's tough for us to update it every single day with as many changes as we do. So we have sample menus. Um, but I would just say, just know if you're coming here, you're going to get really amazing seafood and it's changing daily. Mm -hmm. And so when people come here, they eat your amazing food and they leave, what do you want them to remember? Flavor. We really put an emphasis on balancing our flavors, on making flavors pop, and um, no dish you're going to have here at Chubby Fish is going to taste like anything else in the menu. It's all going to be really unique, very flavorful and very balanced. All right, so now we have some delicious food in front of us. Let's go through what we have here. So we got a beautiful beeliner snapper. This is a amazing poached American red snapper that we poached in a little bit of pork fat. We finished it off with a brown butter and blue crab butter. Uh, this is a celery salad. It's a really light, bright uh, shaved celery, fennel, uh, celery root, we got some potato chips, pumpkin seeds, and green daikon over the top. Um, a little bit of parmesan. And then we have our caviar sammies right here. This is what I'm so excited about. Can I tell you a fun fact? Yes. I've only had caviar twice in my life. Wow, this is a good way to try it out. <laughs> All right, should we do it? Let's do it. All right, you grab one. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 
All right. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! That is so good. I can see why this is popular here. You're telling me about it. I'm gonna keep going because it's good. And what's your favorite part about your job? I get to create every single day. And that's, for me, that's the dream job. Um, it, you know, it's like getting up here and playing jazz every single night. We get to just improv and uh, have a good time doing it. I like the way you said that. It really is kind of you come in here and the menu changes, like you said, every single day, which is very unique. And you're getting something different when you come in here and fresh as well. All right, so like I said in the beginning, every time I'm passing it, it's packed out there. So what is the best way to go about getting in here and getting a spot? Every day we'll have a line that starts before five o'clock. Oftentimes people are intimidated seeing that line, you know, a block down the street. In actuality, if you're in that line before five o'clock, you'll have a spot in here that night. So, you know, if you come on Saturday and you get a line at 445, yes, you're gonna be far down, but they're gonna give you a time to come back. They'll give, they'll take your name, uh, and they'll stay in touch with you through that wait process. Awesome. So don't be intimidated by the line. Stay in it, and you'll get the opportunity to come in here and try the food. You guys come down and see us, 252 Cumming Street in Charleston, and, uh, and have some good seafood.